So which one of these is my go-to? I'll let you know. So my six month review of the Snap FX and why this clipper is so important and why it is actually obsolete technology. But let me tell you a little story. So before all these fancy clippers were out, cordless clippers, there was corded clippers. There was seniors, corded five star seniors, reflections, there was fast feeds, there was uh, Anis Masters. Then came along the invention of the cordless clipper, which was in, what I remember the first one was the Magic Clip. And then it was the Five Star Senior, and then later Babbles made some stuff, and then it was the Andes Masters. So fast forwarding, what they did was they improved on the battery. So you had Boost FX, you had Five Star Seniors with better battery, better motors, and so forth. This progressed a little bit further. Now, with the Snap FX and the Snap FX trimmer, what you had what is you had a replaceable battery. So what it is, is with a cordless clipper, you use it, it dies, you dock it, you plug it in, you go back to it. With a replaceable battery unit, your clipper dies, you throw another battery in there. Now this was the first of its kind, and this is basically a power tool, like if you see cordless power tools all over the market, that's what this is. Like a Makita saw, your Makita saw dies, you change it in. Fast forward now, Babyliss has a whole FX1 line that has multiple clippers, trimmers, shavers with the same battery. So while this is now obsolete, even though it's only maybe at most a year old, this was an important piece of barber history because the fact that you can keep working with this no matter what you're doing, no matter how busy it gets, no matter how many times you gotta recharge your battery, as long as you have the two batteries that came with it, you pop it in, you get two hours, that dies, you pop it in, you get two hours, and it keeps you going. So this has been my go-to clipper. If you're a busy barber, or if you're a barber that doesn't like a lot of clutter, this is the clipper of choice. Now this clipper is a done deal. They got the FX1 coming out in October. And that's basically a much smaller battery, a much smaller charging unit. And But this was the grandfather of detachable battery clippers. Actually, now I come to think of it, detachable clippers have always had these type of things, you know, the BTRs, but they didn't come with two of them. So, going forward, this was an important clipper. This is my go-to now. I'm going to be using the, the FX1s. Here I go with the phone calls. I'm going to be using the FX1s. And, but this was, this is my go-to. It's worked well. The blade cuts well. Holds its charge good. No problems with this. I love it. Can't wait for the new version. And that's just it in a nutshell. If you like the video, like, subscribe. We'll be back with another one. Plug in a new battery. It still blinks. Now my boy Desmond has told me how to fix this. And what you're supposed to do is keep the clipper on. When you take the battery out, plug it back in. And that solves the problem. Desmond Mitchell, he's an excellent person for the community. Good friend of mine, uh, we talk all the time, and he's very interactive with a lot of barber channels. Um, but yeah, Desmond, you rock, and thanks for the tip. Peace.